The Southern Flying Squirrel is a frequent nocturnal visitor to my theaters, mainly because of all the peanuts I offer. Until recently, though, I didn't really have any footage of them gliding. They would usually enter and exit the frame on foot, since the exact feeder locations weren't directly accessible by tree. Whoa! Now that I've moved the deck feeder, squirrels can easily get to it from a nearby oak. I'll be including a lot of replays in this video. Watch the right side of the tree. The squirrel's eyes are visible like headlights as he scurries off. This is about 20 minutes later. I don't know if this is the same squirrel or not. Flying squirrels are supposed to be very social animals, but my trail cams haven't captured more than one at a time yet. Now watch the tail closely here. The flattened, brush-like tail helps provide stability during gliding, and it acts as kind of an air brake on landing. Based on this footage, I wonder if the squirrel uses the tail in takeoff as well. Here's some footage of a squirrel gliding taken from behind. Whee! The camera often triggers right before a jump. The membrane that the squirrel uses to glide is called a patagium, a structure they share with bats. On your mark, get set, go! As I'm sure you've noticed, flying squirrels are very fast. They're like little furry bullets. Here's another rapid entrance. And here's one last jump. I think the squirrel or squirrels are getting more confident about approaching the feeder. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to boop the snoot. For more backyard wildlife, please consider subscribing. As always everyone, thank you for wild watching.